What's new, everybody? Um, I think you've seen it. If you've been living under a rock, I think I know what's new. A $60 Ragnaros Mythic skin, and I'm all for it. We're gonna unpack this for a few minutes. I've been away, I've been busy, I've been swamped. But um, this week we heard from Nathan Lyon Smith, who made a promise to us last month that he was going to be more transparent, more proactive, or what have you, with communication to the community, and it looks like they've done that. Now, there's an ad here. There's some stuff here to go over. I'll leave a link in the description for this. I'm sure we've seen it. It looks very cool. So the first ever Mythic Skin Ragnaros is coming this coming week. Uh, I think it's Tuesday, and that's the same time as the mini set, and I am all for this. Look at this thing. Um, it looks amazing. I mean, I have a couple of these uh, these legendary, or I don't know what they're calling them now. I think they were calling them legendary, and then they were possibly calling them diamond. I don't know. Look, cool skins. Uh, Leroy Jenkins is awesome. Cthulhu is awesome. Ragnaros looks like he's going to be very, very off. Look at the amount of damage. Look at the animation. Um, we'll see what happens in terms of how it's going to look. Um, you know, this is a, a very, very uh, small representation of this, but I, I love this. Um, portrait is going to change. Ragnaros rises out of his portrait to fight. Um, the, the animations just look really, really cool. The board's different across the board. The emotes are, are way different. It's very expressive. I'm, I'm really, really happy about this. Um, I'm interested in seeing how it is. Now, um, will I buy it? Possibly. Will I buy it day one? I don't know yet. $60 is expensive, especially with they're doing those signature uh, core cards. Um, I want the uh, warrior one, so we'll see what happens. But if we're going to, uh, you know, talk about monetization of this game, and listen, that's what every, everybody talks about. It's it's on everybody's mind um, from what they're buying to what they're not going to buy to what uh, they feel is a good, um, you know, price point for certain things. It's all over the place. Do I think a $60 skin that you do not need to buy it in order to win games or to play the game i'm for it i'm 100 fine with this i'd rather have this than have the um the the game cost more money to play for everybody so it's 60 dollars, six thousand rune stones we know what rune stones are uh it comes bundled with three shaman packs and three warrior packs maybe it would have been a little bit better to have maybe golden packs or something like that i don't know it kind of seems like you got this really cool mythic skin that does all this really cool stuff and then it's three packs i don't know um this also is a uh dual um, minion you can use this in shaman and you can use this in warrior so i think this would be really cool for the warrior decks that i'm playing and you know i'm playing or you know highlander warrior um i don't care i love it i don't care what you all say it's a fun deck to play um so i want to unpack a couple of things here the first thing main goal is to remains a game that is easy to pick up and play that means removing barriers that would prevent players from joining all us all in the tavern including cost barriers the core game is about collecting cards, winning on letter. That's where we've continuously made the game more approachable for our players. So essentially they're saying, hey, listen, this is a very easy to play game in terms of getting cards. Um, they've had the revamped uh, new and returning player experience, which is amazing compared to where it used to be when I started. Um, improved loader decks. Uh, there's a bunch of things that they've done with duplicate protection, um, what have you. We get full dust refunds for cards that, um, you know, that are that are being nerfed or what have you. So there's improvements that are are happening. I'm positive about these improvements. I like them or what have you. Um, but Hearthstone is a game with all kinds of different players. So we're working to make sure every type of player has something that delights them in the tavern. And yeah, there's players who really care about cosmetics. Players showed a lot of excitement for cosmetics with a higher quality bar like Cthune. Cthune was super popular, it still is. Um, my favorite um, uh, hero right now, the hero skin, is Leroy Jenkins. It's hilarious. The win animation is just as fun as the defeat animation. I like it when, uh, you know, the chicken comes and smacks me in the face when I've lost a game. So I don't feel like, oh man, I lost. It's fun to see. Um, yeah, we, though we know not every fault 
player falls into that category where it's, you know, wanting the coolest stuff. We want to continue serving those players the most awesome cosmetics we can. Premier cosmetics like Ragnaros and future Mythic Hero skins will let us deliver an awesome experience to players who want the ultimate flair. Let me tell you, Ragnaros is awesome. That's cool. I'm fine with this. Everybody should be fine with this. If they have a $250 Ultra Diamond that helps you, you know, helps you have a cool experience, have fun, be awesome in the game, I'm fine with it. Diamond uh, card backs, I'm fine with that. Um, diamond coins, I'm fine with that. I, I don't care of that nature. Um, the fact is, you know, some games, listen, I, I play Marvel Snap and I've mentioned this several times. Marvel Snap is fun for free to play. I would never spend the amount of money that you need to spend to get a card at Marvel Snap. And there's just some games I know I'm not going to win because of it. Um, but this, I'll spend money on. I like, you know, maybe it's because I own uh, a channel on YouTube that's, you know, this week in Hearthstone. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. But I'm all for this. So, you know, they're saying here essentially that they're trying to put together items that will work in all price points for everybody else. Do I think that those signature uh, cards, uh, the, the signature core cards for Warrior and Druid and what have you, do I think those are a good value at $24.99 with a couple of packs in there? 100%. Because I'm going to be playing those cards all the time. I will be mad if they remove them from core. So just remember that. Um, Team 5, if you're going to keep on doing this, make sure you keep those in the core set. I'm going to be upset if I can't play those cards um, in standard. But yeah, they're talking about figuring out how many price points that they can work with. Some might work, some might not. And there's stuff that'll be, you know, available for the free to play player. The event that we're doing right now, the event, you can get 14 packs. They're talking now that in this um, in this patch with the mini set and with this uh, premium skin, they're going to have a free event that gives a card back, cosmetic coin, two different hero skins. That's huge. That's huge. And then this is also the patch where all wild game boards will be in rotation for the standard format. And we have plans for favorite boards feature to come later down the line too look i'm i'm happy with this i'm happy with everything that i've seen i'm happy with the fact is is you know nathan lyon smith said that he was going to be more proactive he was um he's talking about these things these things are coming out these are not just platitudes you know we're getting to see all of those cool um boards that have not been in the game for a long period of time in standard excuse me you can go to wild or what have you and wild is really fun right now i don't know if you've noticed some people hate on it but i've been having fun uh jamming pirate warrior in uh, wild it's just fun um i like what they're doing i like that they're saying this is happening i love that the boards are coming in i'm just a big fan right now i'm very positive with this video this video is like you know i'm really happy that i'm seeing these pieces you can even see here that you know in in this representation the witchwood board is right here so you know this might be standard might not be standard it doesn't matter but we have witchwood board i think there was some sort of um uh, pictures that were also floating around uh, Twitter today that made it look like um, you're going to be able to test um, changing each one of the sides of the board, like a favorite left, a, th a favorite right. It might be wrong. It might just be an internal testing thing or what have you. But I think that's cool. I think that's very cool. I'm excited for all of this. Um, yeah, give me options. You know, don't just put it out to where you're going to buy, you know, a $59 signature card or what have you. Let me spend, you know, here, give me something at a $5 price point. Give me something at a $10 price point. Give me something at a 20 and so on and so on and so on. Be creative. I don't care. Um, I want to buy skins, but you really got to do something. Um, I don't know who's messing around with the Battlegrounds uh, shop, but I'm just getting the same old recycled stuff over and over again. There's so many boards I want to be able to buy. Just let me buy any of the boards for gold. Let me buy any of the boards for cash. I'm fine with it. Let me buy any of the boards right now in Battlegrounds for runestones. I'm ready to go. There's like three boards I want, and I've not seen them since they came out of the shop for many, many months now. It's been a while now. Let me buy this stuff. I'm ready to spend some money. Um, I just, you know, at times I can't spend $50. At times I can spend $50. 
those situations where there's so many other things. And listen, I don't like time gatekeeping. I understand that, you know, it's a it's a time situation where you want to show that, oh, this is getting out of the, you know, the, the shop in a few days. So you better buy it now. I get that. That makes sense. It's like business 101. I, I'm, I'm understanding of that. But yeah, I want to be able to, you know, buy what I want when I want at a price that I want it for. And that's what I think everybody's doing or everybody wants that when they're playing this type of game or any type of game, you know? Um, if I see a skin in the game, I want to buy it. If I have the money, I buy it. I want to buy it right there. I'm, I'm rambling a little bit, but this is fun. Like I said, all positive news. I'm very excited about this, how this is going to be. This is the first time I'm seeing that, uh, that defeat animation to where that pops up. Is it as cool as Leroy's chicken beating him in the face or whatnot? No, but it's still super cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to be broke very soon because I'm probably going to be all of this. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your comments. Let me know. Are you planning on buying this skin? Um, are you planning on buying any of the signature uh, core cards? Let me know your comments. Um, yes, there is the mini set coming out. Didn't forget about the mini set. I'm going to talk about the mini set when all the cards are released. I've seen some of them. I've got thoughts on them them um and i just want to wait till they all come out for me to look at them and plus i just don't have a lot of time right now but i like spending time hanging out with you guys when i can and yeah i've rambled enough and i will see you all in the next video